Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque live painting on Thursday, March 5th at 7 Central Time. Whoops. So we have our little hoppy Easter bunny stack, our girl chicken with her little bow in it, and our little boy chick with his little bow tie and his little feather. So today we worked on shipping. You got the subscribers and the one-time purchases, your bisque boxes to go with um, the, the bisque for these guys. And what did we call these, Courtney? Courtney called this box Hop Into Spring. So you there um, shipped. We have a few more to work on tonight when we finish yet before I head home. And then those will get mailed tomorrow. And then you guys will have your boxes for us to paint, begin painting next week. So this is our April hop into spring bisque pieces that we'll be working on. And then you do get the extra little pieces in there, like the little bow and the little um, fluff and the bow and the little root rooster tail for our little fellow, and then our chalk. So let me get these guys out of the way. And then on Thursday nights, we'll go through um, painting these guys. So tonight, we're going to work on finishing our chickadees. That was from our winter birds, our February box. And then I base coated a couple extra ones to show you a finch and a Blue jay and a bluebird. We'll see how far, how much time we have, what we get done. They're just a little extra for tonight. So these are our chickadees that we're painting out. Um, the box was our metallics with our copper birdhouse and marbling, and then our blue birdhouse with the silver. And then we had our cardinals that we did with the copper. And then we had our chickadees that we did with the silver. They kind of match the blue birdhouse. And then we had extra time, so we threw in a extra techniques. And that we dry brushed our cardinals to look like actual birds instead of the metallics. And tonight we're finishing up our chickadees. So we had base coated them black last week. And then we dry brushed them the um, ash and now tonight we're going to put in the white white part so I'm going to grab some um, maybe we'll have Courtney move the screen down now that we're got the eggs all shown oh and back to the eggs we are do have a plan on doing a second release as soon as we get the um, supplies we had to reorder some supplies because we sold out on those and once we have those in our hand um, Courtney will post next week. Um, it'll be a pre-order, and then we'll decide on the sh when we'll have them ready to ship. Um, it's supposedly shipped today, and we're supposed to get it the chalk on Saturday. So we don't want to post a date until we actually have it in our hands in case it gets lost or something. Um, so we're we're hoping that it is on the truck and it arrives on Saturday and then we will um, post, then Courtney will post the pre-order where you can purchase and pay at Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bist.com. And then they'll probably ship around the 15th. I don't have a calendar to look at, but 13th, 4th, that'd be a, we'll have to check the date. She'll have that all posted in, in the posting for you guys. If anyone wants um, extra ones, so it's a busy day today because we had shipping. Um, so now I have the OS 431, the white. If Courtney could post, type that in the, the feed for us. She's having trouble with the screen over there. So let's give her a minute. It's OS 431 white, and I'm just using acrylic stains. So we mostly will be doing non-fire techniques on our Thursday nights because with, um, the focus is on people that don't have access to local shops. And um, that's how we started with the BIS box. And so you will find mostly fire techniques versus the non-fire techniques versus the fired. Although hopefully in the future we'll be able to do um, YouTube videos on fired stuff as well. So because I'll be doing this full time after May. So I'm going to just put a little bit of the white on my foil and you can use um, a, a tile 
and sort of the foil or your palette that all works good. I like the foil because I can roll it up and throw it out. So now we're going to do the white that goes around our chickadee's eyes. So we want a smaller dry brush. So I got to look in my dry brushes here. I brought back what I took home last week or the week before. I did. I brought them back. They're right here. The paint. I didn't bring paint back. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. Uh, so I have a, a Royal and Lane Nickel size 3 dry brush. And I'm just going to use the, um, it's a flat one so I can get the point on my little eye. So you can look at a picture of one, or you can go like just on the internet and look up images. So we'll start at the beak. We want our point to be right at the point of the beak there. We'll come under the eye and go back and make a point and swoop back down. And we're just going to dry brush that. So I'm going to grab a little white and brush it out. And so I'm going to start here at the corner of his beak. And this might be a little too big the way it looks. I'm going to have to switch to a smaller one. And just brush back and forth. And I'm going to get a smaller one. That's a little too big for me. Let's see what we got here. Hmm? Yeah. That's a size 3. I got a 0 in here. Cardi says I got a 0. I should. Unless I hijacked it. She thinks I hijacked it. That's possible. I must have not washed these out very good because they're kind of stiff. I'm going to have to soak them. So here's a good tip. So though this, I must have not washed this, um, this little brush out very good last time. It's real stiff. Um, so what you, if you can get me one, yeah. Um, probably a flat. So this guy is when it gets, if you don't wash them out good enough, they'll get real stiff. You can use um, Murphy's oil soap. And massage that in there and sometimes you have to wait wait um, 15 20 minutes or an hour and then wash them out and that'll soften that right back up alcohol will do the same thing um, so I'm gonna pull those out because I'm gonna have to take those home and um, clean those up I must have not washed them out very good one night because they're really stiff and hard but that's what you can do with that so Courtney's gonna get me a, a smaller brush here but we'll start with our three till she gets here so I'm just gonna do my little white mass just by dry brushing back and forth underneath his eye here and then bringing it back thank you so Cardi brought me a nice little um, oil and Lang nickel size zero um, flat brush and that'll be nicer to get um, that nice little peak on there by his up by his beak here. Oh, Cody says I'm off camera. So I'm just gonna work that in there, bring it up over the eye, grab a little white and brush it out because you want a dry brush basically, and just up further. No, nope, that's okay. Maybe move the camera towards me a little. So I hope everyone had a good week. We were having a busy week. Good. So I'm just going to brush back and forth until I, and then I want this to go to a point back here. And then I'll just widen it out and come up under this eye. And just keep brushing back and forth until you build it up. And we want a little more under here. And I'm just coming right off the, where the, his beak, the top and the bottom meet, go up to the eye, and just kind of swoosh it back to the back of his head, and then bring it back down underneath there. So we, we do need more, more white on there yet, and it could be a little bit wider too. And, and birds, they're not all exactly the same, just like us people aren't all exactly the same, so the it, the markings can be different. It can be a little wider, a little skinnier from one bird to the next, so don't worry about that. So now we're going to come over to the other one. Again, I'm going to go to the right to the peak where his beak, the top and the bottom, meet. Bring it up to the eye. And kind of swoop up and then down a little bit. 
and you can look um, from one side to the other. You kind of want it ending at the same point, and then swoop it back up. And when you're when you look, there's a you get a pointer maybe. There's like a little chubby cheek part right here, and that's actually the part we're getting the, the white, but just the, the way the feathers are poofed up right there. Um, that's kind of his little white marking. So we'll just get his nice little white markings on him and brush him out. Well, oh, that's too wet. Just got to brush that out more. You don't want it to go on all at once like that. You want a nice thin layers, several layers at a time. Over time, I should say, not at a time. So we had snow this morning when I got here. I, I got up at um, 10 minutes, but yeah, so I um, got up at 10 to 5 and I unloaded the kiln and took a shower and um, packed up the car and headed to Courtney's so we could box today. So I was trying to beat the weather. We were supposed to have rain and snow starting at 6. And it was just starting to snow as I got here. Then it kind of turned over to rain for, what, maybe two hours? Just a little yeah, light drizzle. Um, not much at all. And then when we um, went to the post office at 4.30, we had a little bit of a shower sprinkling drizzle again. Um, we were supposed to have more than that. But I'm glad that we didn't because I have to drive home yet tonight. And hopefully it's not doing anything anymore from now till then. Let's bring that up there a little bit further. And I'm just going to get a little bit higher here to just to give it a little bit more of a swirl. But I don't know what it's doing in Shano. That it's, We could have snow there. That's uh, Maybe my sister can... Let us know what the weather conditions are in Shano or someone else that's in Shano if you're watching. But maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> well, so I'm going to switch back over to the other side and just um, bring that down just a little bit further. Get it a little bit whiter. <coughs> Excuse me, bring it back to his little point back here. So that's where the uh, when you're trying to get a nice point, the flat, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> flat dry brushes work a little better for that than the round ones. At least for me. So we'll just build this up a little bit more. No, I'm okay, thank you. And we'll get a little bit more of a point on that one. And then I usually look at it head on to make sure like the white is coming down about the same on both sides. I need to come down a little bit further on this other side. Huh? No, it should be okay. Um, so I just wanted to come down a little bit further so it matches up the other side. You want to look at your painting, your piece from different angles. It's like I'm looking at it from the back. Now this, this side, the right side, I got a lot further back than this other side. So I'm going to bring the other side back just a little bit further. And a little bit more yet. And then I want to look at him from the front and I got to get a little bit more on this side yet. So well, that's looking pretty good. I did re, um, re see today on the calendar we're going to the Ohio Ceramic Show. So I think it's April the 23rd, that Thursday. We won't be doing a live um, painting because we'll be driving. So you might want to mark your calendars that we won't be on, on April, in April the, the 23rd, right, Courtney, or the 24th? It must be the 23rd because I think the 24th is Friday. Um, so we won't be live that Thursday night, but we will be, we'll try to do some lives from the show to show you guys what goes on at a show if you haven't been to one. Just lots of vendors with lots of stuff. 
So now he's looking pretty good, pretty even. So we're going to switch to the other one and we'll do the same thing. And we're just going to start off the corner of his beak up to his eye, bring it down on his cheek there. And I'm just brushing across my texture real lightly. And then I want to get that peak back here. So I'm just. But Tordia says we have a comment. What is it? Please send some of your snow our way. Oh, I wish we could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, although it hasn't been cold this year, so I really can't complain. I mean, it hasn't been like 20. We haven't had 20 below. We've had wind chill that cold, but not actual temperature plus the wind chill. So it's been actually a pretty good winter here. Um, in fact, my gas bill, the average temperature days last year was 17 degrees, and this year it's 26, so it's actually been a really warm, the last month has been quite warm. So 17 compared to 26 is a big difference when you get down to those numbers. So now we're going to switch over to the other side and come off the corner of our beak again and get up on, under the eye and fill in that little cheek area there and then bring it down and kind of swoop it together. Get that point back there. So let's see what else is going on. It's just been a really busy week with pouring, cleaning, firing, bubble wrapping stuff. Um, getting everybody's orders together because we had the, the extra bisque this time with the Easter bisque and then the paints. So again, so I just took a quick look there. I can see that this side is kind of matching up with that side. Um, I poured if three other Eastery things that will Courtney will show you on one of the Wednesdays. Um, they'll there's um, not real small, but they're small enough um, that they'll fit in the box in case you would want extra bisque again next month. And you could still order any of the bis Easter bisques that we um, Courtney debuted on that Wednesday for the Easter drop. If it fits in your box and you still want some of it, we'll keep pouring and, and can add it to your box yet. Um, then some of you will be getting a different, you won't get the white um, box, you're going to be getting a brown box because it it has a different um, shape to it so we could fit um, your things in it better with, with the extra bisque. Um, so, but it still has Brenda's bisque box sticker on it. And you still have all the same great service that you got before, it's just a different box to get more pieces in. And it's still shipped um, priority, and you still have your tracking and insurance. So again, I'm looking at him head on so I can see that it's kind of equal where, where it's going down. It could come down just a little further on this side. So we'll bring it down just a little bit further. And that looks pretty good. So we'll go back and just... Give it a little bit more white to whiten it up a little bit more. And we'll come back to this one. So we did have a lot of colors um, for our Easter box, but we haven't used the pastel colors in the past, so that's why, why we have so many colors. But we will be using them, a lot of them, in the next month um, box because it's a um, fairy garden box pieces. Um, it'll be minimal new colors for that that box. I have a paint list and um, I actually have them in bisque and I'll be painting them this weekend I hope but I might take the weekend off too because it's been busy busy busy. So we're looking at our white and we got it dry brushed on it looks nice and white it comes to our little point back here got our little cheeks filled in and now I'm going to um, save my white brush and lay it down because we're going to do some other birds. Um, but now we need to get his black cap on his little head here. So we're going to probably go back to that size 3 that I had before. And we need some black. 
Oh, I had to order slip this week. We're trying a new um, brand. Um, so hopefully that works out really well. That's supposed to arrive tomorrow, so that'll be good. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Friday came fast. Yep, Friday by noon it's supposed to be here. Um, so now I just want to um, get his little pointy. It comes from his um, beak to the white and then um, back around here to a, a point. And then we also come around here and up under his little chin. So we're only, we only got 60 boxes because this company um, sends 60 boxes on a pallet instead of the 80. Uh, but after, uh, once we get into spring and I'm retired from work, I'm going to uh, mix the slip from the dry ingredients. And we're going to be getting it from this company, so I wanted to try... They use the same recipe as the slip that they're sending. So I actually wanted to try out the slip before I invested in the dry products. So I'm just brushing back and forth underneath his little beak here, bringing it around underneath the, the white just a little bit. It's like he's got a little bib on. That would be the best way to describe that. So Courtney says we got some comments going on. Oh, Courtney says hers are not update. Oh, Courtney says she's got to go out and come back in. Uh, mine seems to be working okay. So. Um, we do have a couple people that um, signed up for boxes. We're um, waiting to hear from you yet. So if you could check your emails or your spam folders if you're expecting a box and you didn't. Um, subscribers that signed up last month on the website that got invoices this month. Actually. So I had subscribers that signed up on the website last month. Mm -hmm. This month they got an invoice via the email. Okay, so Courtney says if you we have a couple people that signed up last month on our web page, which then you paid right away and you signed up as a subscriber, meaning you would get, you wanted a box again this month, Courtney sent an email out and you would need to click on that email and, and go pay your invoice because now she sent you a new invoice for your March box. March, bo no problem at all. March box, it's no problem. We just need you to um, check your emails because maybe it went to spam if, if it's the first time you um, got one. Or if you've already talked to her and so just um, if you've paid, you're okay, you got your box. But if you haven't paid and you ordered a box, check your um, in your email for your invoice. So I'm just blacking up his little bib here underneath his chin. And then I took it a little bit around under the white. And I kind of went less and less as I got away because I, I just want that more gradual. And then we're right under his bib area here, and we're going to darken that up some. Some more, just like we kept building up our white. And now I'm going to come over to his the top half, and we're going to do right over the eyeball and right along our white. And we want it, we want to bring it to kind of a point here. So I'll probably start back here and then bring it forwards. And just come right along my white. And I'm just brushing real gentle. So now we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll start from our point and go to the white. Or you can go the other way. So Cordy says her comments don't seem to be working, so let me see. Um, we've got lots of highs. So hi, everyone. Um, Courtney thinks we're okay. We don't have any questions. So if anybody's 
Um, got any questions? Everyone get their um, birds and birdhouses done or you're waiting to do them later? So I'm just trying to get his little eye black here because it's white. So I'm bringing that black down a little further. Um, so everyone should have their box by um, early next week. And then Thursday we will be painting our, we'll start painting it. And let's see, the chicks will go really quick because they're basically just painted the um, yellow that's in the box. And I don't remember offhand what lemon, lemon yellow, lemon, lemon peel. And then we'll do their eyes. And I got a special little um, extra in your box to do your eyes. You guys are going to hopefully get a kick out of that. So I'm just brushing back and forth across his head, kind of across that texture to get that blackened up. So he's got his little black cap head, the black cap chickadee. And I'm just grabbing my black and brushing back and forth and getting it, kind of bring that to a point. And we want to get that beak black. We don't want white. We don't want white on there, so we're gonna make sure we cover up our beak here with the black and the eye. So let's see. I'm gonna bring just bring this back here, a little, just a little bit to the other one, and that little point, and just kind of light black, not real dark black. And just a little bit over here, kind of joining that up. So it looks like we need a little more on this side. I need some more black. So let's see, are your messages coming up now, Courtney, or not? No, it's not refreshing. Well, so it, we just got, we got a hi from Vicki and hello from Lisa and hello, hi from, hey girls from Sue. Hello from uh, Marie. Another hello from another Sue. We got lots of Sue's. And, Linda. and Linda's, Courtney says. Linda. So we're just getting our little birdies all finished up here. We gotta get that a little bit blacker there. There we go. Bring it around here, get his little bib on him. Get the beak nice and black. And you just keep Brushing it until you have the shade that you want. So I do have it darker up towards his beak and then it fades out just a little bit so it kind of blends into that gray a little bit more and it's not a such a sharp line. And we need a little more over here the way it looks. So let's see, I already poured some of next month's box. I have 12 sets of those guys made. Now to get them cleaned and to keep pouring and get them painted. Um, we'll, when we go to the show, we're probably going to look at some of the different mold companies that might be there. Like I know Noel's is going to be there and um, yeah, there's a few other ones. Um, I'm kind of skipped in my mind right now HD or some Hershey's or there's a company with like um, three different companies um, so we can look because we have our molds picked out for through um, through September and then our next month is October which we would probably do a Thanksgiving type thing because it's so it would be done in time for Thanksgiving so we're thinking about something with a turkey because tur the Thanksgiving traditional turkeys seem to be back in. So if you guys think that's something you would like, let us know. 
maybe post in the feed here tonight. So now we're going to switch to our other guy and we're going to um, do the same thing. And I'll just show you that you don't have to, well, he, he's pretty prominent with his black. You don't have to make it that prominent. You do want it underneath the um, beak here where his little bib is. And then you can just bring it out just a little bit so it's less less prominent. Because birds, each bird is different. They're not all the same. Even though they're the same um, breed, they're, they can have different markings. So we'll just do this one just a little bit. Just I'm only going to go about three quarters of the way and then bring the black back under the beak. And then let me see. So the October box will probably be a Thanksgiving themed box. Um, then our November box will likely be a Christmas themed box so that you can have your um, piece done in time to use for Christmas. Um, and then our no December box, last year we did snowmen. So I guess let us know. Huh? Um, Cordy says that was a popular box, so I guess let us know if you guys think snowmen again in December is a good, a good little... Um, theme or if we should switch it to something that more Christmassy or um, so let me see August is a animal theme it's hedgehogs um, September is some more uh, more of the monster mash uh, people to go with last year's monster mash people um, we had four last four last year or three three last year and we have three more this year two Oh, we had Mr. and Mrs. Frankie. Okay, so this year we have, um, we did the monsters this year. Okay, so we had Mr. and Mrs. Frankie last year, but this year we're doing the monsters. Um, let's see, I think it's the mummy. Is it the zombie? We, did, we didn't get one of them, but we have some of the monsters to go with Mr. and Mrs. Frankie. So then we'll, that would put us to our October box, which is probably the Thanksgiving box. Oh, HK molds, Courtney says. IMD molds. Kentucky molds. And Lakeland molds. So we'll have to check those out before we go because maybe we'll pre-order um, if they have something we think you guys will like a lot for one of our boxes. But they're also in Milwaukee. Yep. But those other ones we. And then because we're ordering slip from um, the company that we're getting it from and then getting the clay, we can also order um, molds from them. Um, they'll be they carry Seoto, Duncan, Alberta, Donna's, um, Doc Holiday. Some Doc Holiday. Some Doc Holiday. So we'll we'll have a um, pretty good selection there to um, pick from. And I know Seattle and Seattle has a, a really nice turkey. I don't know if they have a small enough one that will fit in the box. So now on this guy, I, I did his marking a, real, a lot less um, prominent. It's It faded out more compared to this guy who's, who's a lot more dominant. So you can see you can do them different. They don't all have to be the same. So I do want to get his eye blacked up here, though, because that's kind of white yet. So Courtney says the Seattle turkey is 10 inches. That might be too big for our box. We'll have to see. What's the price on him, though? Um, so we're going to check out um, turkeys, we think. And we thought more of a traditional one. Clay Magic does have more of a cartoonish ones. Um, so I'm not sure if that's something you guys would want or not, if you'd rather have the... Yeah, there's probably... might Maybe Duncan or someone has one. So we got our little um, chickadees looking all good. So now I'm going to grab um, some of our ash. Courtney wants to put it in the feed. It's OS. Five six seven ash. 
So I, and I'm just going to take just a little drop of that because we're going to highlight his, the beaks a little bit. And it's just going to take a drop. And I'm going to use my same brush that I had because we're kind of in the same family. That will give us a gradual change of color instead of an um, abrupt color change. And I just want to go on his beak just a little bit. Just kind of highlight that beak a little bit. A little bit underneath, not a whole lot. Um, last year we did the scarecrows. But it seems like the, the traditional turkey is a big, a big thing. So we're kind of looking at that. So if you guys want to let us know what you think about that. So we're just going to highlight it a little more. And that's a little too much. i got to brush that out. A little bit underneath. Come back and we'll get the other one a little bit. And I'm going to brush that out. And now I'm going to grab some of my um, Duncan OS467, Courtney. Duncan OS467, light brown. And i got to shake that one up because it's got the oil sitting up on top. And we're just going to use a little bit of that, too. And let's see. I'm going to switch brushes, I think. What am I going to use? I want something about this size. So I have a Royal and Lang Nickel size 5. And I'm going to go into my light brown and brush back and forth. And now we just want to do our little um, breast area with just a little bit of the light brown. I'm just going to brush back and forth. Need a little bit more. So you guys let us know what kind of um, Thanksgiving type box you would like. Or if you want to just stay with a fall theme that's more general like the scarecrows were last year. Huh? Um, we could do pumpkins, gourds. There's different. So you could... I think if you want um, like the turkey theme or if you want just more of a plain fall theme for that October box. So Courtney says she can make a poll in the group. She just has to figure out how to do it. So in the Brenda's Fist Box group, um, watch for a poll and we'll um, – it won't be this weekend because we're like burnt out for the week here already. <laughs> uh, so look for that next week and – um, add your suggestions because we want to give you guys what you want too. So I'm just doing my light brown from the black a little bit heavier here and then lighter, lighter as it goes underneath because we want this darker down there because it'll be more shaded down there, be less light hitting it. So we're kind of going right through his breast area there and just getting that a little bit stronger with the light brown than the the bottom part. So there he's got a little bit of nice color on him. Now we'll do that with the next one as well. And I'm just brushing real light back and forth right on his breast area. And you can see his wing kind of starts right here. Over here it's over there so we're doing in between there. So this isn't this box related but a friend of mine um, is down in New Mexico this winter. Um, and they're picking up a special package for us. Oh, I already told them? Oh, well, she picked it up Tuesday. Our cactus, our big cactus mold got pick, picked up Tuesday. And it should be headed back to Wisconsin in April. So it'll be nice and dry by then. I'll be able to um, pour it. So watch for a picture of the big old cactus. 15 inches. It's a big, big guy. It's the big cactus. So can't wait. Can't wait. The base base? And the base, the rock base is coming with it too. Yep. So they got, um, they had to go. They went to Albuquerque shopping and stopped and picked up our cactus for us. So that's going to be fun. I can't wait to see it. So I'm just bringing it right up to my black, kind of fading it out as I go down. Yeah, bring it up just a little more, I think. So that's how he's looking. 
I'll put a little more on this one the way it looks for a little bit darker than the other one. So I should waiting for spring so we can go mold digging in our storage shed and get our last two pickups of molds sorted and logged. Um, Courtney will be able to post, huh? If I don't add to it, she says. Um, Courtney should be adding, should be able to add to our Brenda's brush strokes and bisque more um, bisque because I did bring her more bisque. The Easter bisque, we had ex I have extras of everything. So if you know it, if it's shipped in the box, um, it's on its way. If you didn't get it any, it's still you can still purchase it. It'll be on our Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque.com. So that'll probably be later next week because she's got a lot. Um, we got loose ends to tie up yet here for shipping today. And then I have she's working on my my tax receipts. So so there's our little birdies looking all cute. All we need now are some little eyeballs. So I'm going to use that ball stylus. It's too big. I want the smaller one. So I'm going to use my um, smallest ball stylus. And that was in our uh, package in January, the BIS box. So I'm just going to go into my white and dip my little ball stylus in there. And then I'm going to hold my hand steady on the table and my bird is steady in my hand and I'm going to steady my dotting hand right on my bird so everything's nice and solid and not moving. And I'm going to put a little tiny white dot, oh, a little bigger than a grain of salt at about the 11 o'clock position. And you just touch straight down. And my white is a little dried up so I'm going to have to Get a little more. It's not dotting very well. So I'm going to wipe my dot off and our dotter off and go back into it. And now we're going to again resting that hand on the table and my bird is nice and solid in my hand and resting my hand on my bird. We're going to go again in our 11 o'clock position on the other eye as well. That way they don't look cross-sided. I might be cross-sided because it's been a long day. And I'm going to go back and fix this one because I didn't like the way it looks. So that looks, there's our nice little eyes. So let's see, we got a bunch of comments going on. We have um, traditional turkeys. We have haunted house, um, pumpkins, another haunted house or village, corn stalks with turkeys. Oh, and Shirley got a Christmas tree wired. Good, good. Yeah, it's not hard when, once you do those um, trees the first time. And, I mean, the video from Glazers is great. It's helpful. So, again, I've got my hand anchored on the table, and i got my bird in, anchored in my hand and my dotting hand anchored on the bird so nothing's moving. I'm going to lightly touch at 11 o'clock. I'm going straight down. And there we have our nice little dot. I'm going to got way too much paint on my daughter here and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side at 11 o'clock and my glasses aren't cooperating I'm seeing double that ain't good and we got another light white eye about the same size so that's perfect just what we need so here's our two little birds our little chickadees looking all good so now I would seal these with a um, non-glossy um, finish um, I used to use the porcelain, and now that's been renamed to the mat, so I would use a mat sealer. I would um, use a dowel and put it up in there, and then you can spray back and forth and seal it. I like to do that outside so it doesn't stink up the house, and we don't want to stink up Courtney's house, so I won't do that in the house. But here's our chickadees. So now we need a bird picture. Um, let's see. Let's go with a yellow finch. Let's start out with a yellow finch. Um, yeah, that's good enough, Courtney. But then you can't see. Um, she says her comments that weren't geek anyway. Okay, so I'm just um, so those were our boxes. We have our boxes box finished, but now um, since we have a little extra time, we'll show you how to do another bird. You could always refer to the video. 
And then you can always order the birds as well. Um, extra birds. I think a set is $10 of two for two chickadees or $10 for two cardinals. And those can be added to your... Um, huh? So they're basically $5 a piece. Um, they could be added to your BIS box and they would ship for free then. Or you can just order them if you want as well. Um, so I got some little white fleas on him, which is where my bisque is showing through. So I'm going to touch that up quick. And that's just something we call those white specks as fleas because they're just pesty little little spots just like fleas. And then I have a cardinal as well. Um, but we're going to do that as a um, blue jay. And let's see. The other one was a... Um, bluebird if we get time here. So we'll let them dry again. So I'm brushing out my brush in my bowl of water and I have my Harold's brush pad in here and I just brush back and forth. Um, you don't want to jab and stab up and down. That's going to break your bristles in your brush. You want to brush back and forth. And that just cleans your brushes right out. And then I like to take them and groom them to a point. Now this one's really been battered because I use it um, for holes. Well, I use it for holes, and then it that's what that's what holes. So if you have something with holes in like a snowflake, like pick a brush out and use only that brush from then on to use for holes because it it. Um, puts all your bristles crazy like that. So I only use that for holes usually. Um, so that's my whole brush. Um, so this is what your nice regular brush would be at, at a point. And you can see these these guys, these are my silver falcon brushes. They're probably 15 years old. These are super brushes, love them. So you can see they're all gobbed up with paint and well used. So I have my little guy brushed out here. So now we're going to go to our finch, and we have him base coated in black. And so we'll do the yellow finch. So I'm going to get some yellow, and I'm going to get my daffodil, Doc Holiday daffodil. Um, you could also use Duncan um, lemon peel. That's coming in the next box. That would be pretty close to this color. They're a little different, but they're close. Um, so I got paint all over there. So now I am going to take a new brush because it's a whole different color. Well, let's see. What do we want? No, because sometimes you want a long. Courtney says I have 50 million brushes and not the one I want. No, because sometimes you want fat ones. Sometimes you want skinny ones. Sometimes you want um, like really short bristles on it. And you want long. I kind of want the long so it looks nice and soft. So I'm just grabbing my yellow and brushing it out on my thing here. So now I'm going to look at Courtney's little picture she's got up on the computer screen for me. It looks like his um, wings, his wings are black and his um, tail is black. So through here it's yellow. So we'll just dry brush yellow. So I I usually try to just kind of outline it a little bit with, by looking at the picture. So that's yellow. Let's see, underneath his belly is yellow. So it looks like right to his tail here is yellow. The butt's white. So we'll get some yellow on there. I'm just um, kind of marking it out where I want the yellow. It's his whole chest is yellow though, right? Right up to his beak here. So and it's around the head is yellow and up over here is yellow. So that's what you want to do. You want to look at a um, picture. Like I didn't have one already painted to bring along. So Cordy just has her computer screen up with um, yellow finch on it. So we'll bring this around. Let me see. The, white, the yellow goes up on top of the head, like to the eyes. Like the chickadee part. We can come back and add more black if we need to. Well, it looks like underneath the whole breast here is yellow. 
that's too much so we got to brush that out so now we want to leave his little wings white here again bring it under here and I think we'll leave this black let that black because the tail feather looks like that's black too so we'll just build up our yellow here quick now so that's what you want to do you want to look at a picture um, you can just like go on the internet and type in yellow finch and then click on the images so that you don't have all the extra stuff and you can see different image colors so that's what I'm doing I'm just looking at the picture from here that's going to time out she's cordy has got my phone for me but it, it'll time out I won't be able to see it yeah I can see it pretty good from there so it looks like it's um, yellow right over the top of the eye and then it's the black um, just kind of like the forehead so bring it right up to his beak his beak is yellow too the way it looks corn of oranges we can put some rust on there so we'll bring it the side right up over the eyeball too and now we can um, get a more yellow on there so that's how so I just got my markings by looking at a picture and we're leaving the wings black the little forehead is black and then we'll build up our color here we'll come back and add some white later so that's how you can figure out what what colors to make your birds what where you want to look where the markings are like they're on the wings the, the yellow comes up over the eye the yellow is over the beak so we'll just brush this back and forth across the texture just like we did with our cardinals and our chickadees you don't want to go necessarily go with the texture because that will fill in your crevices and you'll lose your shading and if we get too much yellow where we want black we'll just come back with the black and dry brush it and with the black and cover up the yellow so we did have a lot of boxes to box today so if you get your box and you're missing your chalk or you're missing something um, just send us a message and we will take care of you um, or anytime you order anything and something's wrong please just message us and we will um, take care of it Um, your paint and your chalk is on the bottom of your boxes, the, um, the, the very bottom layer. Um, and Cordy says she usually don't do that, but we she packaged the paint differently this time. You'll see that it's in a cellophane bag instead of in a box. Um, that's if you got extra stuff. So, so I'm just going to try to get him yell more yellow there's not a whole lot of black coming through on that um, the yellow area but we do want some because we want some shading so we'll get a lot of yellow on here and we might even set him down and let him dry and work on um, one of the other ones because if you let that dry that just takes the paint a lot better and then you always want to get your bottoms don't forget about your bottoms you want the bottom to look as good as the top. Cordy asked if I would ever base coat in white. Um, um, it, it all depends. Um, I, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, you don't get the shading that you want. I mean, you could go with like a gray. Um, even a, like a white rabbit I would even do with the gray and then a lighter gray and then the white like if there's a lot of white under here you would just have less black showing through but you'd want a little bit of black just to give that shading which gives your piece texture and dimension
And that was a little thick, a little too wet. But we'll brush it out here. So this guy actually has a little. Um, he's a he's a reject. He he's something we wouldn't send to you guys. That's why she's added him on the shelf, and I didn't bring any new ones along. But he must have got bumped here, so all his texture um, is gone, and it, we didn't catch it before we fired it. So when we were boxing it, Courtney, um, we watch for stuff like that, and he goes into the reject box and usually comes back um, to me. Uh, but he'll he's a good enough for a sample to show you guys how to do the um, finch. But um, that is a error there, and you we don't send stuff like that to you guys if when we try to um, catch all that. So we're just getting his yellow a lot yellower here. So I've done the crackpot birds, um, painted them out to each different kind of bird, and that's really cute. Um, they're little birds with clay pots on their heads. Um, they look like this. There's a set of six of them in different um, positions, and I've painted each one to look different. I did the um, blue jay and the cardinal and the chickadee and the finch and the bluebird. Hmm? Yeah, this is a really, they're really popular, um, especially the cardinals and the chickadees. And there's an ornament size that's different. Yep, and, and then there's a one that's a little bit smaller. It's the same, close to the same as these, but they're ornaments. They're they're flatter. just more flatter. Yep, they're more ornament. They're like, they're called ornaments, actually. And we have those, too, but I don't think they're on our um, page yet because I haven't poured those. So we're just going to get some more yellow on here. And because there's more yellow than there is black with him. So looks like I got to shake this paint up a little more. I got lots of not yellow. It's more water. Cordy's ready to fall asleep over there, you guys. Oh, and I got yellow everywhere. Huh? Oh, um, I got it. I got to wipe the paint off the bottle here. I'm making a mess. Yeah, I am tired. It was about early morning. And it's going to be a late night because I already go home and then I got molds to take apart when I get home because I poured them before I left. So we're just going to get this a little bit more yellow underneath here because it's not a whole lot of yellow black showing through him, but we do want some for shading. Did you ever use like a shooter brush when drying brushing or not? Um, Courtney asked if you would ever use a shader brush when dry brushing. No, not when dry brushing, but if you're painting, just painting, you could use a, a shader brush, especially if you're doing um, painting like flowers and designs. So I'm just using a boar bristle dry brush. It's a natural bristle brush. Huh? Yep, it's a different... Um, hair that's in the Courtney asked if the shader brushes are designed different they they are designed different they're a different hair um, like the red sable um, although there's lots of nylon ones today compared to the natural hair ones um, we got to get his beak hair a little bit more yellow I think where the um, dry brushes are a little bit they're a boar like a boar pig hair um, some of the painting painting brushes, they're softer, they're um, more natural. Well, they're, this is natural hair too, but it's a softer hair. Like they can be out of squirrel hair or, yeah, they're out of different animals' hairs. So I'm getting my bottom, and he feels pretty wet, so I think I'm going to set him down. I'm going to just lay my brush to the side here. But you can see he's looking more like a finch. There should be some white on them, too, right on the wings. Is that where the white is? Yeah, I see that white right here on the foot. Yep. Also, like, on the tips of the His wings, head. yep. So we'll come back with the black, and then we'll come back with the white. I mean, I think that's something. Yep, so I'm going to do, we're going to do us a, I 
think the bluebird quick. What how are we doing on time? 803. 803. So let's see. Do we have any um, questions? Looks like Sherry wants to order order more birds. Well, just send us a message and we can get you more birds. I I'll um, have a couple poured and I'm gonna pour some more. Um, oh, Lisa wants more birds too. Yeah, yep, we can take care of that. So now I'm gonna go to my. We're gonna do a bluebird quick here, and I'm gonna use my Duncan OS four five nine. If Courtney wants to add that to the feed, bright blue. So this is a color that we haven't used before, so it's not going to be in your um, subscriber boxes at all, but we, we do carry it. Um, but for the bluebird, you want um, a nice bright blue. Uh, Mako has rich blue, and we have that too. Um, that's usually what I use, but I just thought I'd stay with the Duncan because we're... Um, so this is the Mako rich blue. You can see they're pretty darn close. Um, I'm just going to use the Duncan Bright Blue OS 459, or you can use the Mako um, Rich Blue SS 335. And we're going to make a Bluebird. So you need the number again? So Cordy needs the number again. We're Duncan OS 459 Bright Blue. Um, the Mako is Rich Blue SS 335. I'm going to put my yellow aside, and I need a bigger brush because we've got to do most of our bird in blue. I'm going to go to my Royal and Langnickel, my size 8 dry brush. I'll put that over there. Shake this up good. Get us some blue. So Cordy could probably bring a blue bird up for us. And I'm just going to work that in there, get it nice and brushed out. Um, Courtney says, um, Sherry, just message us what you want and she'll take care of you. So our bluebird, um, his little chest is, I believe they're a cream colored tan with some orange. So we're going to do our whole wing area, our tail area, and up over the head. That's all going to be blue. And then we'll do the... Um, those colors once we get our blue on. So even though, I mean, those, the molds, the river, these are Riverview molds. They're sold as chickadees and cardinals. They don't have to be chickadees and cardinals. Um, the body structure of the birds are, the blue, like the finch and the bluebird is very similar to the chickadee. So you can make these into the, um, those two. You can make them into the blue jays and the, well, the um, the cardinal can be the blue jay and the cardinal, and then the chickadee can be the finch and the bluebird. So we're both dragging here a little bit tonight because it's been a long day, you guys. So <laughs> Courtney says, oh, a little bit. Uh, so sorry if we're dragging, but we didn't want to cancel um, the live either, but it was shipping day, so it's it's been a busy day. Um, so I'm just dry brushing my blue on here. And I'm going to look back bright blue. I'm just going across all my little textures, bringing it down underneath. And I'm only coming not all the way, um, kind of just where the tail feathers would be. And then this is his body because that will be more of a cream colored. So we're grabbing our blue. And we're going to brush it out. That's a little wet. And we're not doing his breast area because we're going to do that with the um, brown and the cream and the little bit of rust. What color is his beak? Is that blackish? Charcoal? Or do you don't know what color his beak is? She's too tired. Right, because, well, you're right, right. So this is the eastern bluebird. This is the bluebird that visits um, Wisconsin. So if you have a different um, bluebird, you can just look online, find your bluebird, look at where his markings are. 
So I got in blue. The Cordy thinks the beak is black, so we'll have to blacken that back up, but that's all right. Some of the other species look really well. Um, she said some of them look gray. Even in the same species, they can look different. I mean, just like all us humans look different. Same thing. Oh, Cordy says we're all birds of a different feather, but we all fly together. Oh, boy, she's tired. She's coming up with crazy stuff. Uh, so we're just getting our bluebird nice and blue. Just brushing, dry brushing on him. So this is kind of a really, really a quickie, you guys. I'd probably take a little more time doing it. Um, we're just trying to get you in, get in an extra, little extra technique um, since we painted the birds and just to show you that you, you you can think out of the box and just because it says it's a cardinal or a chickadee, um, you can change it up. Make it make it fit your needs. Cordy says I do that all the time. Yeah, probably. You got to make do sometimes. So I'm just getting underneath his little face there too a little bit. Yeah, if you could for a second just to see how far down the blue comes in the front. Doesn't come at all. Hard. Right, yep. Okay. I'll work work the rust up in there. So you, usually I would I have one that I paint and then I paint out like a dozen of them at a time. It's just easier to do it that way for me because I was doing craft shows but haven't really signed up for any for next year. So I'd actually have my finger stuck stuck up inside there too because then I can maneuver him around. Um, Jason's working on a drying stand for me for um, sitting these on once they're um, painted and then for spraying them. So we'll show you guys that once he's got that done because we might make them available um, to purchase something I always wanted and it's like well that would be perfect and I think he could make them that's Courtney's boyfriend so we're getting our blue he's pretty blue we got ourselves us the blue bird here tonight huh he blew up yeah he blew up he's blue oh <laughs> so now I, I did let his little belly um black because we're going to do that with our light brown and then our um, we probably don't have any cream or ivory but I can look in our cart what we used before because I think we did use some ivory here before um, gray we haven't used ivory before any anything light yeah that should be in here right I thought it was ivory so just getting his tail a little bit bluer, his little forehead here. Um, since I'm going to change colors completely, I'm going to switch to a different brush. And let's see, I'm just going to get a little one. This one's kind of um, been around the block a little bit. It's my Royal and Lang Nickel size 5, but I, I like how it's, um, it's very worn, so it's actually worn to a point down there, and I like that. Um, so I'm going to start with my brown, I think. Can you bring up the bluebird, Courtney? Oh, Courtney's looking for a color for me. Hold on, guys. Um, That's not French it. Vanilla. Huh? French vanilla. French vanilla? I got gray. Oh, I it. You probably swiped it? No, oh, I'm thinking you did because I don't see it. No, you did. I, I did? That's possible, too. Um, let's see. What... Um, ivory or French vanilla is fine. I'm going to start with our brown, our OS467. Um, light brown, actually I'm going to take that back. I'm going to go to rust first because that's my darker color. And then Courtney will be back here in a minute. So I'm just going to shake it up. So I have our Doc Holiday DH28 rust and I'll have her add that as soon as she comes back in the room. And I just need a little bit, maybe a little more than that. And I'm going to flip that over, brush that out. And now I want to just come around here 
with my rust. And then we'll add our light brown on top of that. So we just want our little breast area with our rust. Bring it down here and around. And it looks like I got more than enough for a dozen birds. So let's see, do we have any comments going on? Nope, no questions. Anybody have any questions? You can let us know that too. We'll try to answer them. So I'm just using my rust here on my bluebird. And we'll um, lighten it up a lot more yet. We just got to get that darkness around the outside on the breast area here. Courtney says they're very different. They are. Uh, what's this one? Ivory. ivory. We're going to go with ivory. Um, so you can add the Doc Holiday DH28 rust for the breast. I'm just going to dry brush that nice and blend it out to my blue. Bring it underneath here a little bit. And you bring it over here a little bit further because he's kind of turned at an angle. So let's see. This weekend I'll be painting the May box, right? April? April box. I'm going to paint the April box because we're going to try to get ahead a little bit here. So hopefully you guys will get to see that. If I bring it back to Courtney on Thursday after that, she'll be able to post post information on that. Um, I do have the BIS pieces here. Would anyone like to see them? They're giving us hearts to see the BIS peaches. I don't see that. Do you see it? Oh, on your phone you have hearts? Hmm. So I got my rust here on his little belly, a little bit round to the back, a little bit on each side. So we'll show them that when I'm done with this. How's that? We'll show that at the end. So now we have that pretty good um, just around and up here. Now I'm going to go to my brown, light brown. Open, oh, I already got it on the thing. So we'll just, and I'm going to use my same brush. So I have our Duncan OS467 light brown now. And I'm just going to brush that out good to get a nice dry brush. Now I want to leave some of my rust, but I want to get more into the center here with my light brown. And down to his belly because underneath there it's white, it's even lighter towards his tail. Cordy says our comments aren't working. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, they want to, okay, we'll show you the pieces when we're done with the bluebird. How's that? So we're going to get his breast a lot um, brighter here yet because it's kind of um, dark, but we do want the rust in there. Someone wants all kinds of birds. <laughs> I knew you guys would like these. Oh, that's good. Good. And so the videos are saved, so you can always come back um, as reference and watch them. And they're on Facebook as well as they'll be on. It'll be on YouTube. Um, Cordy says she'll she'll try to edit. As separate birds, we'll have to see. Um, she'll need time to do that, though. You have to give her time. Um, then it'll be on YouTube and on our Facebook video tab. So we're just going to work this underneath here because his little tail is um, lighter, too. His little um, underneath side. But I'm letting some of the rust around the outside. These guys are always, these birds are great sellers at a craft show. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, the Cardinals are the best sellers, but these sell too. A lot of people 
Yep. Yeah. So we're just going to get a little more, a oh, little too thick. You see the brush marks. We don't want to see brush marks. And I think that's pretty good for our tan. Or light brown, I should say. So I'm going to let him dry, and I'm going to go back to my cart, my um, fin chair now. And let me see, we needed some black. One, I just want to touch up my black where the yellow got on it. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of black, our OS476 black. And I'm just going to take my Royal and Lang Nickel Size 3 liner, or not liner, my flat brush. And I just want to touch up his um, flight wing, wing flights, flight wings, where the yellow got on it. And on his little tail feathers here. <laughs> oh, we're tired. Yeah, so we're just going to touch this up here too, wherever the yellow got on those flight feathers. Just making it nice and dark again. Huh? Well, of course, it says if you have a question, let's see what we go. Oh, how much do you sell them for? Um, Sherry, are you wondering about how much are the brushes or how much are the birds? So I'm just going to touch up my black where my yellow got on it, on his little feathers here and his little tail. And I think I want it just a little bit stronger right there in the middle of his forehead. Oh, at a craft show? I think they're... Um, I think they're seven dollars, um, but we were um, going to have to raise the price because the new molds. Um, we just these were brand new molds and they've costed more um, than the molds I was using. So, so it'd be fifteen percent. I mean, I the painted item that when I do a painted item, I do fifteen percent of the price of the mold um, times three plus the cost of the supplies that were used. Um, to make it. So hopefully that makes sense. That's how I figure out the so price like craft for craft sale pricing. So I got his little head nice and um, black there. How and um, so um, we can, for, for our pricing, we base our prices on the price of the mold because molds have gone up, slip has gone up, shipping's gone up. So we base that on, I need some black because we're going to do the eyes here quick. So we base it on 15% of the mold. So if you buy a $100 mold, the greenware, 15% of $100 is $15. So your greenware piece would be $15. Then if you want your bisque price, you take that times two. So you double the price of your greenware, which that's $30. So then if, if you buy greenware and you um, take it home and clean it yourself, so now I, I just painted out his little black eyes, and I'm going to paint out the other little black eye. You would, usually a shop will tell, sell you a price, set price for your greenware, and then when you bring it back, you pay half of that greenware price for your firing. Um, so for me, if I'm going to sell bisque, I need to double that because I have to fire it Plus, I have to spend time cleaning it, and I um, actually spend a lot of time cleaning because I um, there's I try to be really diligent about cleaning the seam lines and putting detail back in, um, which I'm sure all of you have noticed that with your bisque boxes that we have good quality bisque. Um, so then the bisque price is double the greenware price, 
And then the painted, if it's acrylics, it's going to be triple the greenware price. If it's a, a, that's if you're buying a finished product. And then if something is glazed, it's usually four times the price of the greenware plus the cost of the glaze or whatever specialty products you used um, to finish it because glazes can be seven, eight dollars a, a jar. So that's kind of how the pricing, I mean, you can figure our prices based on 15% of the mold. So if you find the mold price, it's going to be, that's what it's going to be, 15% for the greenware and double that, um, double that for your bisque price. Um, um, be aware that there are sites out there that don't have up-to-date mold prices. When you go to order them, they're, it's not, um, it may not be the, what the mold manufacturer is actually charging compared to what a site has it listed as. So some of those are quite out of date. So on my, our little blur, bluebird here, I'm just doing his little black eyes too. While my um, finch is drying. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys. Well, for that, for that, I used my a APB artist paintbrush. 58550 liner. It's a script liner. It has a longer liner, but they're great because they hold a lot of paint. And you can, um, once you get used to the, the longer bristles in your um, liner, you'll actually love it. This is a really nice brush, and we do have it on Brenda's brushstrokesandvis.com. I actually um, really, really like it. Um, they compared it to Donna's eye brush, so that's what this is. And we just ordered the same brush, but with the shorter hairs. And that should have shipped today with our chalk. So we'll see. So let's see. What are we, we're going to go back to our bluebird. And we're gonna, we were in the brown. And so now I'm going to go back to my same brush. And I'm going to use my um, Duncan Ivory OS342. Is this the color from the box, or is this a different color? color off the shelf so I won't put it back in the cart or you want me to put it back in the cart because then we're just subscriber colors. Um, so this is a color we haven't used in any of our boxes. You could use um, this ivory or um, this. You could use the French vanilla OS485, but it's more yellow um, than the ivory. So e either color would work. It's personal preference. I'm actually going to go with the ivory. Um, the ivory is OS432. And then the French vanilla is OS485. Either one would work. I'm going to use the ivory. And so we're going to get us a drop of ivory on our little foil here. And I need some more paper towel. Um, subscribers, you would, if you've been with us, um, when you had the, I think it was the December box, the snowmen would have had the ivory. So I'm going to brush that out. French vanilla, sorry, French vanilla. So I'm just going to brush that out. I want to build up my ivory in there a little bit. And now I want to get um, his main part, and then this is like the very center of his little um, breast just to highlight it a little bit, bring it up under his chin. And then it's probably a lot whiter under here, so we're going to get more under here. Oh, oh thank you, Sherry. Yep, I clean it and inspect it, and then Courtney inspects it, and she really inspects it, so... I get rejects <laughs> because sometimes you can fire something and then you end up with that little pinhole that pops up. And if we can't file them out, then she sends it back to me. So, so yep, we try to make sure our bisque is good. I want it at the quality that if I went to a store, that's the quality I would want to buy. I don't want to be seeing seams and holes and 
So we're just lightening up the, our little belly and underneath the tail part here of our little um, blue, blue bird here. Yet we have our nice little orange that's around the outside there. And then we have our tan, but right through the middle we're getting our ivory. Kind of a little bit more underneath here. Because even though it would be um, darker because of the light, he actually has a lot of um, lightness underneath him and up his tail there. So there will be more of the ivory here and then less as you go up just because that's how he's, his nature or whatever, his construction. So there we have our little bluebird. And let me see, we thought that his little beak was more of a gray, you thought, Courtney? We'll use our, um, we'll just give it a little ash color, our Duncan OS 567. Um, actually, I'm going to brush black on it first, and then we'll highlight it with the ash. So I'm going to use our black OS476 black on our beak. We're just going to blacken him up a little bit. And the ash number is OS567, and we'll use that to highlight it. And how are we doing on time? <laughs> We don't want to know what's past your bedtime. I always want to know what time it is. 8.30. Okay, well, we're doing pretty good here. <laughs> well, my definition is I would have liked to went to bed about 5 o'clock this morning. So I'm just getting his little beak all nice and black. And now I'm going to grab my Ash OS 567. And it's just going to take a drop because we're just going to highlight it a little bit. And I'm using my same brush. I'm just brushing it out. And now we're just going to touch his little beak just a little bit, get a little bit of highlighting on there. And I want a little more. So that's pretty good. Then we can go back to our little eye um, stylus and grab some white. And now our white dried up again, but I'll stir it up and wipe that off. Again, I'll anchor my hand on the table and anchor him in my hand. Um, we, can, we can do these at 1 o'clock. They don't all have to be the same. So we've got our nice little 1 o'clock dot. And we'll do our 1 o'clock dot on this one. And it's going to be a little bit more. You want them the same size as you can get them. So what are you saying? Well, I did the other ones at 11 o'clock, so that's why I'm doing these at 1 o'clock. The same. I wouldn't do one at 11 o'clock and one at one at one o'clock because then he's going to look cross-sided. So when you're doing your eyes, you want to do your dots on the same side of each eye, the same position. Yep. So that's why I'm doing them both at one one o'clock. The other one I did them both at 11 o'clock. If I did one at one o'clock and one at 11 o'clock, he's going to look like he's looking at his beak, like he's cross-sided. Um, so there's our nice little bluebird. There you go. So that was a quick and fast bluebird. So now we'll come back to our little um, finch here. And we got to put some white in his tail. Not his tail, his wing feathers. So let's see. I think I'm actually going to just go with my little liner. I'm gravitating towards the bottom. So I'm going to run my liner in my water and bring it to my white and then I'm just going to thin that out a little bit so it's a little bit thicker than ink and I'm drawing my brush through that and turning it clockwise and I'm loading up in the paint into the brush and that turning it clockwise puts it on a point. So now he has sections to his wing so I'm just going to put white on each section because he's got just a little bit and I'm just going to draw it right across. What? 
No, you can see the sections. There's a section of feathers here, then there's a section of feathers here, and then there's here. So we're just going to highlight each one real. Um, I want it real prominent. So I'm just going to draw across it. And then we'll do the same thing over here with the next section of feathers. And I need a little more. So there we got our nice little highlighted feathers. And we'll do just one more across here. And then we're going to turn him so that I'm holding him one finger up here and one down here. i got to get some more white thinned out here. And we have our section of feathers here and our section here and then his little tail feathers. So I'm going to just do it in the same area again. Oh, too much white. And we're going to get a little more. I got to look back to see how much I put over here. So there we have our nice little finch. Okay, so we had a question of which ball stylus we were using. Um, we have the Royal and Langnickel um, ball stylus. It's a set of three. It has a large, and then um, there's actually one, two, three. There's five different sizes in here. Um, it can ship in your box if you want it. You can just message Courtney, and she can add it to your invoice for next month. This was in January's box when we had the penguins. It was the extra. Um, but we do have more of them. So that's our Royal and Langnickel um, ball stylus, so five different sizes. So let's see, our little finch here, he needs some eyes yet. So we're going to go back to our little ball stylus. And we're going to get some white. And we'll go at the 11 o'clock again. I tend to favor the 11 o'clock. I don't know why, but. And then we'll come and do the other 11 o'clock. And can, Courtney, can you look up his eye or his beak? I want to make sure we got his beak right. And his tail. Is there any white in his tail? Yep. Yeah, but is there any white lines across his tail? Sides. Okay, so we need a little white in his belly the way the picture looks. So we're going to... His butt... So it'd be where the, yeah, like right there. here. Yeah. Uh, Orangish, so we'll get a little bit of rust on his beak. So I'm just going to go back to my, well, let's see. Looks like we had the ivory in there, but we're done with the ivory, so we'll grab, grab some rust. And I'm just going to, um, so we're back to the rust, Doc Holiday, um DH28 rust, and we're just going to get his beak Rust it up. And I'm just lightly touching it with the rust. So there we go. Huh? You don't like his wings? Well, okay. Cardi don't like his wings. <laughs> uh, I, it's hard to see the picture from over here. So, uh, let me see. I want a little white. Yeah, but if you look at the one, the third one over, that one's like a straight. So you can you can look at pictures. Um, some of these they have white, and then there's black and white and black. You can do yours however you want. The the one picture that I could see best 
Um, from where, where I'm sitting, it was more of a white line. So it's up to you guys. Just look at look at a picture. See, that's more of a white line. I mean, they're, the, the birds are all different. Um, you can't really go too wrong as long as you're looking at something. Um, so I'm just going to get a little white underneath his. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually use the white either. I'm going to use the ivory. And we're just going to get a little white under here. And that's the ivory. We're using the OS 432, some ivory. Just get a little white underneath his derriere. Let's call it that. Cordy says butt, but I'm going to call it the derriere. So it's just a little bit here, and then there's more here. And then I'll just fade it out. Bring it there. Bring it up the side just a little bit so you can see it. Get just a little bit more. So you guys can use this for reference for painting birds if you want to paint birds in the future. If you need more, more birds, um, message you can just message us. Um, it's a Riverview mold. I don't know the numbers right offhand. It's a cardinal mold and a um, finch chickadee mold. Oops. And they also have um, a smaller one. It's about half the size of this with um, um, the little guys. Which one, though? Cardinal or it has one of each? You sure? So the one that has um, like it's half the size. It will have a set of cardinals and a set of chickadees in it. I thought it was just two sets of the same bird, but so it's half the size of this. It's not real little, but it is a little bit smaller. I also put a hole in these about right here when they're in greenware. And then you can um, string them to make them for ornament to hang from Christmas trees. So the cardinals are great for that too. So, you, it, so we can do that too if you want holes on them. You can just let us know. So there's our cute little finch. And again, I would seal him with the mat sealer. And then here's our little bluebird with our cuteness. And they, that can have the hole in it too. Any of the birds can have the hole in it to hang if you wanted to hang. So there's our two little additions. Now we didn't get to, to the blue jay tonight, but I'll put him on the shelf. And if we have a um, night or a month where we run short, um, we'll we'll finish him as a blue jay because then you guys will have that as a. Um, so or we'll just redo it and do it as YouTube as a blue jay too. So but we'll do him as a blue jay eventually. So I think that's it for tonight for painting. Push these guys all aside. Close my paints. Keep my dirty brushes so I don't get them with my clean brushes. And then move some stuff here so you can see our next box, the bisque for the next box. And for that we have, let me see, i got to put keep paints here separate and together. We have our Clay Magic Dragonfly Villa. And do we got to take our screen out, our um, camera out a little bit? So this will be the next month's April's box. It is the Dragonfly Villa. Good. It's a pretty good size piece. And then to go with that, we have, and I don't remember her name, which one she is. Is it Daisy? It might be Daisy. It's the girl fairy with the mushrooms and the ladybug. And then we also have, which you don't find too often, is our boy fairy, and he's standing with his little shovel, and his name is Larkspur. So we have Larkspur, and I think she's Daisy, but I'm not 100% sure. So those are your pieces for next month. So I'll be getting those painted and um, hopefully by the end of the week, Courtney can get them posted, but we do have a lot going on this week with getting taxes done and um, finishing up things here. So that will be your April box. Um, the pre-order, Courtney says she'll get the pre-order up next week. If you're um, not a subscriber, you can order, right? 
through the pre-order link. So if you're a subscriber, you're already signed up and she'll invoice you on the 1st and you have till midnight on the 4th to pay and then we ship on the 5th. So you can do a one-time purchase or you can subscribe and then you'll get these little cutie pies. So I think that's it for tonight. Um, thanks for joining us and your boxes are on their way. And we'll start with our Easter box next week. We'll be um, painting everything out and then we will do some shading with the chalk. We're not going to do the entire piece with the chalk. Uh, because that can be frustrating to start out with. So we're going to break you guys in kind of slow. Um, so this will be Happy Easter, and what we'll we'll do our shading um, with the chalk and on on his little um, paws and on his nose, um, just to give give you a slow um, work into it, versus doing the whole piece and and not having on site help. Um, we're just going to work into it real slow, and that'll be a good way to start with the chalk. And this is the chalk that's coming in your box. It's your um, extra that's in your box. It's a great money value that you guys are getting. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, Cordy says Brenda went over budget, but everybody's been wanting chalk, so we're gonna we're gonna start with chalk. So we're we're gonna start slow with them. We're just gonna do our shading and our highlighting of our bunny, and then um, we'll work work into doing a whole piece eventually. But we're just gonna start out a little bit at a time with, with the chalk. So we will we will be base we'll be painting him out and then we'll be dry brushing our um, bunny and we'll do some little designing around and then we have our chicks as well we have our boy with his bow and our girl with his fluff we'll use the chalk on these on on them as well for our little cheeks so we'll um, stay tuned for next week and watch for your boxes have fun opening them. Let us know what you think. Have a great week. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Good night. Thanks for joining us.